obligatory kick-ass car boot intro. It's time for some fruity car boot gaming looty and I'm starting right here just to tell you a quick story before we flick to the native sounds of the boot that this guy wanted wait for it 30 pound for a wet broken DS light 30 quid guys what do you think to that joke you have a, in my garage two other pieces that go with it but it's only a couple of quid so the motor I'm just 30 quid <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, go on check. Did you get it yesterday? No. How much is that? Ten. It's ten in CEX. How much is it? Ten! Ten pound! Saints Row. Oh yes, FIFA 15 mate. Love it. So some reasonable Nintendo Wii titles here and just the usual stuff in terms of PlayStation 3 360, but we do visit another car boot later in this video with some additional games. Let's continue. Look at you blinking. I'm taking a video. Okay. <laughs> 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 Oh, that's kind of hard after it's it's coming yeah. in. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, they're done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, that's so battered. Oh. That's okay. That's absolutely battered. <laughs> Is that so? How much is that? Two. Two. Do you do a quid on it? No. That's, that's all we have. It's all it's just a couple. It's a PlayStation. Let's have a look. It's a Mario Kart. Yeah. It's a Mario Kart. 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 It's a Mario
This is the eBay app. I keep getting asked how I scan my games at car boots and I use the barcode scanner on the eBay app. So there you go. Old, old school. That is, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pads, but... How much is on your PS2? 25. No, I'll leave it. Thank you though. <laughs> so I'm just going to take this opportunity to say that £25 for a battered, dusty PlayStation 2 with a broken controller is a little bit excessive and I feel that car boots are really pushing their prices up of games. I actually prefer to buy from vendors or sellers rather than people that are just clearing out their attics when it comes to games. Molly, what are you doing? <laughs> Some football in it. What's that one under there? That looks like lost. That is lost. Oh, well, that's that. I just bought it. I know, Pat. Oh, they're like really battered. Like PS1 controller. Mm. Oh, you got a bag, okay? No. Oh God, my buddy used to have them. <laughs> So this following footage is at a completely different car boot on a completely separate day. Um, this being a vendor with some very sun damaged games on. I didn't actually buy anything from here. I did get a couple of things at this car boot, but I will show you guys exactly what I picked up later in this video. Enjoy and subscribe. Well, then, so Oh, we've got blue. All Some decent books as well. Is your Xbox? I was asking 24. Oh no, it's not worth it to me, but it's not a bad price. You sell the controller separately? I can do for a fiver. You do it for three? Uh, yeah, go on then. Yeah? Nice one. Do you have a charging case? Have I got any? I'll just check the battery. Yeah, no yeah, sure they're not. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. I'm going to take his top off. <laughs> Doing. You know that. Rocket League. Amateur PSP games. Uh, two brand all red ones and three on me, Grand Theft. No, a bit too out there for me, but thank you anyway. I appreciate it. Again, 
again, we're seeing it again, three pound, two to three pound on PSP games. And I always say that if I wanted to pay that price, I'd probably take my scrawny little self over to CEX or possibly a local retro game store and uh, pay similar prices. I mean, gone half the days when you're getting really good bargains, but when you do find the bargain, you my adrenaline goes and everything just becomes fantastic and we're going to continue with car boots but i've narrowed my booting down to two that i really really like you right awesome glad to be out yeah tell me about it it's great isn't it <laughs> Sonic Racers, yeah? What is this? It's Sonic the Hedgehog, but it's a bit like Mario Kart, but it's Sonic. Okay, we'll have this one. Yeah, that's what's... You don't mind if I just this, No, absolutely not. Stick around. Please do. We'll have this one, Dad. I've only got them one, that's all gone. Uh, they're, they're all two pound each, apart from the peepers and things. Stick around, not for me, it's someone else. Yeah, of course. Oh, he's got all the others at his house. But I just have them at mine. Mm -hmm. Do you get a picture? Yeah. You've got to stop cool. Here you go, darling. Cast two games. 50p now. I've got most of them. Is that all you've got in the games, yeah? Uh, the PS2 game. Yeah. yeah there's then the PC sim. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, pretty much. Let's speak the same. Oh my god! Look at that, even that. 78 to Vega, perfect for you, mate. So, we have more car boots to come, but I'm going to show you what I picked up, and albeit it wasn't as successful as what my previous two episodes have been. But I'm not here to show you everything when I strike it lucky because let's face it, car boots are so hit and miss, but I now know the ones in my area which I will be focusing on over the next couple of weeks where we can buy some bargains, potentially flip that stuff, I'll show you what I paid, I'll show you what it's worth, and then put that money back into five pound game challenges and car boot thrifting, and thrifting anywhere I guess. I've got a banger episode for you on Thursday by the way. So unfortunately a very battered limited collector's edition of mass effect on the 360 this is so battered and you may have heard me talk about it in the episode there's like rust on it and everything but i don't own the tin and we are on the kind of countdown i guess to the mass effect remastered trilogy on current gen consoles now don't hate me i'm just going to digress slightly I don't think I'm going to get it on launch. I think it looks really good still on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Uh, we got whatever that is, some kind of art book. Um, I just think it looks really good. I mean, I'd only buy it for the updated control, so I'm going to like hold it off for a little bit, see if I can get it at a discounted price. But as you guys can see, we got the stuff in here and I paid £2 for that. I paid a tall quid. Um, I'll put the value or the sold listings on screen now. For those of you that are resellers, um, this is going straight into my collection. So picked up that bad boy from the first car boot, which wasn't, it wasn't great. Um, secondly then was a car boot we hit up. Um, it was kind of after it was in Hocknell. Lame, don't go. Um, need for Speed Carbon on the PSP. Unfortunately, missing the manual but a title that I don't own so everything that I got today is going into my glorious collection and then we picked up shout out to my petrol heads by the way Toka Race Driver 2 this one does come with manual this is much cleaner than that in terms of just the case itself and just how it feels it doesn't feel as gritty and again I don't own this so this is going straight into the collection paid a pound each on these bad boys and again I will put on the sold listings I may have even got ripped off because at the time of filming this I don't know what they're worth um, but I will put the sold listings from eBay on their screen now so that is unfortunately it pretty lame by my standards especially as in the last couple of episodes I found an N64 didn't buy it I found a PS Vita bought it you need to go and watch other episodes of the car boot uh, retro game thrifting 
um, because I've been really so, so pleased and so stoked with them. And you can hear my dog in the background. So unfortunately didn't pick up anything great, but <sighs> Thursday's episode, we drop a banger. So if you're new here and you like out and about stuff or you like bargain retro game hunting, uh, you're in the right place. Make sure you guys subscribe, leave a like and follow me on twitch.tv forward slash thegebs24 because this Friday Resident Evil Village drops and my life is going to feel absolutely complete for a day or two. So I'll be streaming it all day on Friday. Come on over there. But for now, I hope you guys stay safe. Have a good one. Molly's just walked in. My little doggy's here. Take care and see you in Thursday's app. I need a few seconds of your time to tell you about channel memberships. If you guys want to become a channel member, click join from the main page or the second link in the description. There are three tiers, all with different perks for you if you want to become a team member. Thanks for your time. Let's continue with the video.